Hey, welcome to Discover Universe Updates. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Deep Space Shocker, Voyager 1, Lost in Static, Phones Home with New Science. That's the headline that should be blazing across every screen on the planet. After months of garbled nonsense, our farthest flung emissary is back. A machine launched nearly half a century ago, now more than 15 billion miles away, suddenly started talking sense again. It's like getting a postcard from a friend you thought was lost forever, but this postcard traveled through the cold, dark emptiness between the stars. The news rippled through NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory as a thunderous roar of triumph. This wasn't just a technical fix, it was an emotional roller coaster for everyone invested in this audacious mission. For months the team at JPL listened to gibberish, the spacecraft that had shown us the true faces of Jupiter and Saturn now effectively blind and mute. Was this the end to one of humanity's greatest adventures? The world watched, holding its breath, hoping for a sign that our little ship was still out there. The comeback, when it finally happened, was pure Hollywood drama, except it was real. The garbled data stream suddenly cleared. Coherent, usable information began to flow back to Earth. Cheers erupted in control rooms. Scientists felt a surge of adrenaline and joy. Voyager 1 is more than a probe, it's a symbol of our relentless curiosity. Its revival is a testament to the idea that no challenge is too great, no distance too vast when we work together. The new data wasn't just a system check, it was fresh science from interstellar space, a place no other active probe has ever reached. By restoring Voyager 1, we reopened a window onto the universe itself. The problem began subtly, as most deep space crises do. In November 2023, Voyager 1's data turned strange. Its telemetry modulation unit started sending a repeating pattern of gibberish. The spacecraft was still alive, but the content was useless. The voice of our most distant explorer had been lost in a sea of digital noise. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a sense of profound worry settled in. This was Voyager 1, the vanguard of human exploration, silent after 46 years. The engineers and scientists felt a personal connection to the probe, it was like a family member falling ill. The initial hope that it was a simple glitch, soon faded. The universe is a harsh place and Voyager 1 had been out there a long, long time. Every day the team would gather, analyze the garbled data, and brainstorm solutions. How do you troubleshoot a computer chip from the 1970s that is 15 billion miles away? It was like performing brain surgery via text message with a 45-hour delay. The world felt this anxiety too. News outlets reported on the silence and space enthusiasts everywhere feared the worst. Losing Voyager 1 felt like losing a piece of ourselves. The silence forced us to confront the mortality of our greatest creations. It made us appreciate every piece of data it had ever sent, every spectacular image, every groundbreaking discovery. The mission to save Voyager 1 was a masterclass in cosmic detective work. The engineers at JPL knew the problem was in the Flight Data Subsystem, or FDS, but with no clear diagnostics, they were flying blind. They couldn't just reboot, a wrong move could permanently damage the aging hardware. So they sent a command to the FDS, hoping its response would give them clues. The team dug through decades-old documents and schematics, becoming digital archaeologists. After weeks of analysis they found a clue, a hidden signature in the garbled signal pointed to a single chip in the FDS memory. Just 3% of the memory was corrupted, but it was enough to cripple the system. The solution, slice up the affected code and store it in different locations, carefully avoiding the corrupted section. It was an incredibly delicate software patch for a 46-year-old computer. The command was painstakingly written, checked, and double-checked. On April 18, 2024, they sent the signal. Then, they waited, 45 hours, for a reply. This single command carried the hopes of the entire mission. The engineers had done everything they could, now it was up to Voyager 1. On April 20, 2024, the whisper came back. After 45 hours of tense silence a new signal from Voyager 1 arrived at the deep space network antennas. The gibberish was gone. In its place, a clean, orderly readout of the spacecraft's health and status. Voyager 1 was talking sense again. The cosmic detectives had done it. Their ingenious, long-distance software patch had worked. The moment was electric. The signal from Voyager 1 is incredibly faint, but suddenly, it was clear. It was a victory for the entire team, from the engineers to the deep space network operators. The first signal confirmed the main computer was healthy, but the science instruments were still offline. The team had to send a series of new commands to coax the spacecraft's scientific senses back to life. 
Each successful command brought more cheers, and a growing sense of awe. This old machine, a relic from the dawn of the space age, was being brought back from the brink, piece by piece. The news of Voyager 1's recovery resonated far beyond JPL, it became a global story of hope and resilience. In a world often filled with division and bad news, here was something universally inspiring. Our little explorer, our scout in the great darkness, was okay. Voyager 1's comeback wasn't just a technical triumph, it was a morale boost for humanity. With the main computer back online the next phase began, waking up Voyager 1's scientific instruments. The team sent new commands to recalibrate the plasma wave system, the magnetometer, and the cosmic ray and charged particle instruments. Each command was a delicate operation, a careful nudge to awaken a sleeping giant. First the plasma wave system, success. Then the magnetometer, success again. With each instrument that came back online, the picture of our cosmic neighborhood grew clearer. By mid-May, all four of Voyager 1's active science instruments were back in operation, returning valuable data from a region of space we can explore in no other way. The comeback was complete. Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 are providing our only direct measurements of interstellar space. This data helps us understand the galactic environment that our solar system is traveling through. Reviving Voyager 1 wasn't just about saving a mission, it was about ensuring that humanity's first steps into the galaxy would continue to be documented. To truly appreciate this comeback, we have to travel back in time to 1977. A rare alignment of the outer planets was about to occur, allowing a spacecraft to use the gravity of each planet to slingshot itself to the next. This was the genesis of the Voyager mission, humanity's grand tour of the solar system. On September 5, 1977 Voyager 1 lifted off just weeks after its twin, Voyager 2. Its initial mission explored Jupiter and Saturn. What it found there revolutionized our understanding of the solar system. At Jupiter, it revealed the Great Red Spot as a complex storm, discovered active volcanoes on Io, and proved other worlds could be geologically active. At Saturn, it gave us our first close-up look at the rings and discovered new moons. The data from Titan was so compelling that Voyager 1 was sent on a trajectory that flung it out of the plane of the solar system, beginning its journey to the stars. For decades it traveled through the outer reaches of the solar system, then, in 2012, crossed into interstellar space. It became the first human-made object to do so, carrying the hopes and dreams of its creators into the Milky Way. Voyager 1 had graduated from planetary explorer to interstellar emissary. Voyager 1's recent brush with disaster is not its first. This spacecraft is a survivor, a testament to the brilliant engineers who designed it and the dedicated teams who have kept it flying. Over its nearly five-decade journey, it has faced numerous challenges. Stuck scan platforms, dwindling power, degrading thrusters. Each time human ingenuity found a way. In 2017, the team fired up thrusters unused since 1980, extending the mission's life. All of these fixes were accomplished by teams working together across generations, passing down knowledge and keeping the legacy alive. The spirit of collaboration and persistence is the true engine of the Voyager mission. They refuse to let our farthest explorer fade away. Strapped to the side of Voyager 1 is a special package. The Golden Record. It's a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc containing sounds and images to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. The late Carl Sagan described it as a bottle launched into the cosmic ocean. The record includes 115 images, greetings in 55 languages, and sounds from nature and humanity. Musical selections range from Bach to Chuck Berry, from Peru to Java. The goal to present a snapshot of our emotional and artistic world to show we are a species that creates beauty. The chances of it ever being found by aliens are infinitesimal but that's not the point. The real audience was us. It forced us to think about who we are as a species. It represents our optimism, our belief that our story is worth telling, and our hope that someday, somewhere, we might not be alone. It's humanity's most ambitious message, traveling on its way to the stars. The Voyager 1 mission is so much more than a collection of scientific data and engineering triumphs. It has become a cultural touchstone, a symbol of humanity's deepest instincts, our unyielding curiosity and desire to explore. Voyager 1 is the modern extension of that ancient impulse, our robotic avatar venturing into the final frontier. This mission is a testament to what we can achieve when we work together toward a common, peaceful goal. Voyager reminds us of our shared identity as inhabitants of planet Earth. It gave us the iconic pale blue dot image, a photograph of Earth as a single, lonely pixel suspended in a sunbeam. 
Carl Sagan wrote that this image underscores our responsibility to be kinder to one another and to preserve this pale blue dot. Voyager 1, our silent scout, flies onward, a piece of humanity that has achieved a kind of immortality. Its recent comeback is a joyous chapter in an already epic story. Voyager 1 represents the very best of us, our intelligence, our cooperation and our audacious beautiful hope for the future.